Hey guys, um, this is Pistachio here. Um, I know I haven't posted anything lately at all, but um, I'll probably post a different video explaining why I haven't been on in a while. But um, I did just beat Dead Space Ignition. Um, for those of you who don't know what it is, it's a uh, it's kind of like it's almost like a comic book download, and it has some little like video game mini games in there and stuff. I mean, it's it's pretty much a video game, you know, you earn trophies, just like any other game, and, you know, the mini games are basically like a game, but it's not really like a must-have Dead Space game or anything like that, but just for me, because for those of you who don't know, I'm a big Dead Space fanatic, but, um, anyway, I'm just here to tell you guys, uh, my thoughts on the game, mostly, uh, some story spoilers, and yes, I will be spoiling a lot about Dead Space 1, Dead Space Ignition, and probably even Dead Space 2, even though no one's even played that one yet. But, um, yeah, um, so if you don't want to see any spoilers, then just stop watching this video right now. I'm, I mean, I'm serious, I'm going into spoiler town, I think. But, uh, anyway, um, throughout most of, uh, Dead Space Ignition, well, let's talk about Dead Space 1 first real quick, um, Dead Space 1 was my favorite game of all time, and I know a lot of you guys probably would disagree with that and be like, no, it's not the greatest game of all time, how can you say that, but, you know, and that's fine, you know, everybody has their different opinions, but seriously, like, I've never enjoyed a game as much as Dead Space, and, I mean, any, if you guys even knew me, like, in real life, everyone would go, yeah, that's Stasier's favorite game is Dead Space, but, um, it's, I've never enjoyed a game that much before, I mean, the gameplay, the storyline, um, the graphics, they were just all amazing. I loved everything about it. I mean, it was just, I've never enjoyed a game so much. And the thing was, it's, I've never even been in horror games, the horror game genre. I've never played any of them before. Like, Resident Evil's not really horror, so I'm not even gonna go there. But, you know, like the Silent Hill games and the Condemned games, I've never played any of those before. But, um, Dead Space was the first horror game I've ever played. I remember seeing it in the Game Informer cover magazine before it came out, and I read the preview like five times over, and I was just so psyched for this game. I had huge expectations, and it was one of the few games that I played that actually met all those expectations, expectations, sorry, and even surprised me still. I mean, that's just how great it was. It was everything I could have hoped for in a video game. It was almost as if someone sat down and was like, hey, What's the perfect game for Pistachio? Let's make that game. I, mean, I know they didn't do that, but that's that's what it seemed like. It was th I liked it that much. And um, now um, a lot of people are getting excited. I know I am about Dead Space 2 that's coming out. And um, for those of you who don't know, again, I'm getting ready to go into spoilers. So if you don't want spoilers, stop the video right now. Um, anyway, at the at the end of the first Dead Space game, you know, everybody pretty much died except for Isaac Clarke. And then at the end you saw his girlfriend attack him, and that was the end of the game, so I know most of us were like, Ooh! you know, we just had to find out what happened next, and what was that all, what was that all about, you know, but, um, in the Dead Space Ignition is actually, um, it's in between Dead Space 1 and Dead Space 2, kind of links them together. And I, I think the story to Dead Space Ignition was originally going to be the movie that they talked about that they're making. You know, this, they're excited about it. They said, oh, we're going to put like $10 million and I mean, we're going to put more than $10 million in this movie. You know, it's going to be great, but I don't, they haven't done it. I don't think they're going to do it anymore. Maybe they'll make another movie, but it's going to be have a different story than they planned. So I don't know for sure, but I think this is that same story that they were going to use for the movie because it... They said the movie is going to link Dead Space 1 and 2, and that's what Ignition does. And um, throughout most of the game, um, Ignition, you pretty much, he plays this dude, and then he has a girlfriend, and then you're in the sprawl, which is the, what Dead Space 2 is going to be placed in. That's that's kind of your atmosphere. That's the ship you're in. And uh, for those of you who don't know, is, okay, well, how did the Necromorphs get there? Because, duh, there's going to be Necromorphs on the sprawl. It's because the sprawl actually picked up the USG issue Mira. Now, that's... I'm not 100% sure, but it's most likely because of some things I've seen and stuff like that. It's pretty obvious, you know, the, the pictures of the USG Ishimura inside the sprawl, and then, you know, they also picked up Isaac Clark, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, so, yeah, you know, at first I was playing the game, you know, you got the mini games and you got the comic strips, you know, it's pretty neat. I mean, you know, I, I love getting immersed into the Dead Space universe, but I never actually expected it to 
make some pretty big uh, plot point reveals. Um, or at least I think they are, and um, I'm pretty. I don't. My hypothesis isn't, you know, um, it may not be true, but I mean, this is what I think. I'm just giving my thoughts on this game. Um, so, and, and one thing that. Okay, so I'll just get right to it. So, the thing that Ignition made me think was okay, Isaac Clark's girlfriend is not dead. Um, maybe to some of you that's not a big surprise because of some of the stuff that happened. Like, um, one, at the end, uh, when Isaac Clark was attacked by his girlfriend, that could have been and was most likely the marker messing with his brain because, one, you know, it was assumed that she was kind of a necromorph, but she wasn't even a necromorph at all. If you actually, I've seen a close-up still picture on YouTube, not YouTube, on like Google, and I've seen an image, and um, it was like really close up, and all it was is she just had like black eyes and looked kind of like a zombie. She was not a necromorph by any stretch of the word, unless there's a new type of necromorph that we don't know about. That's, but you know, anyway. Um, so yeah, so his girlfriend's not in there. Was that probably didn't actually happen? And another thing was, you see, oh well, there's the video where she killed herself. But technically, that all that was was Kendra just showing Isaac Clark that his girlfriend killed herself. But all she really said, his girlfriend said, was um, I forget her name. Was it like Claire or something? I don't remember. But um, she just said, oh Isaac, I'm sorry, and then she injected herself with something, and she never really said she killed herself. So that could have been a sedative or pretty much anything at all, actually. And maybe, you know, what was she apologizing about? Maybe there was something, I don't know, but... So, I'm guessing that she's not dead, and Ignition was what really brought up this theory, because throughout most of the game you're playing, and it, it doesn't seem like it's making any huge plot twists or points or bringing up anything new until the very end, and throughout the game, the main character would get a text message or from something from somebody, but he wouldn't tell his girlfriend or anybody who it was from or what it was about, and, you know... At first, I just kind of excused that, like, oh, whatever, you know, it's just random crap happening. But at the end of the game, he actually sacrificed, like, he didn't save his girlfriend's life, because if he tried to save her, he'd be risking himself dying, and then he wouldn't be doing this important task that he was talking about that was just really important for him. And that task was um, releasing Isaac Clark from, uh, or waking him up, I guess, in the psychiatric hospital. Um, the uh, sprawl, because yes, the sprawl did pick up Isaac Clark too, and the mo the reason why they need him on the sprawl is because he knows how to deal with necromorphs, because he's been through it before. Now, here's the interesting thing: how does he know that? You know, um, it's because someone was those text messages he was getting, or whatever you want to call them. You know, that was from somebody who knew Isaac Clark and who knew that he knew how to deal with necromorphs, and they knew that he they needed him. And um, and I was thinking about, okay, well. Who would know all about that kind of stuff? And I was thinking about all the characters that were on the USG Ishimura, and pretty much everybody died except for Isaac Clark. But, um, you know, his girlfriend's death was the only death you could pretty much, you know, like say, well, maybe she didn't die. And uh, I'm pretty sure she actually didn't die. I think that's the whole point behind it. They're just trying to mess with you because um, I think his girlfriend's still alive, and uh, she knows that Isaac Clark is the only one that can save the sprawl from the uh, necromorph infestation, and she was the one texting the dude, telling him that he needed to get Isaac Clark out of the, uh, or wake him up in the psychiatric hospital. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's 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 pretty much what I got out of uh, Dead Space Ignition was, you know, Isaac Clark's girlfriend is still alive because she would be the only one that could possibly know um, what Isaac Clark went through, unless Isaac Clark's texting himself, at, or texting the dude, telling him to wake him up, I don't know, but that's ridiculous, I don't think that would actually happen, unless, never mind, yeah, I'm just kind of going on and on, but yeah, so Isaac Clark's, I think Isaac Clark's girlfriend's still alive, uh, she's texting the dude, the dude, um, woke Isaac Clark, Help. So that's where Death Space 2 is going to lift off, and I think they're probably Death Space 2 is going to get into how his girlfriend is still alive and stuff like that. And most inevitably, at the end, it'll give you another huge cliffhanger for Death Space 3, which is going to be awesome. But um, yeah. So um, um, oh, and um, I guess th that was just the whole plot thing I was trying to um, explain to you guys. You know, um, my thoughts on the story. Um, but if you're thinking about getting Dead Space Ignition, um. I guess I'll kind of give it a brief review. Um, oh, and another thing, um, I did. 
I want to say. Um, I did talk about doing a special surprise and then getting into the Silent Hill Blind Run walkthrough. Um, I'm not going to be getting into that anytime soon because, like I said, you know, my parents usually watch Netflix and I don't have the time to, um, I can't upload videos while they're doing that. Well, Brandon just got Halo Reach and he's been playing, or Brandon, my brother, got a Halo Reach and he's been playing that like crazy. So I have, and, and if I start uploading YouTube videos, then his internet screws up and he can't play. So I'm not going to like, you know, make him not play Halo Reach just so I can upload videos and stuff. But, um, I probably will find a little bit of time, especially, you know, like, I'm going to upload this video, you know, um, and I'm going to start doing, um, some, my own video game reviews, um, I'll probably start out just doing some older ones, maybe on the couple games that I let's played, but, um, I will start getting into some newer ones, but, um, anyway, I'll just go ahead and get into a, uh, brief, uh, Ignition review, so if you're a Dead Space fanatic fan like myself, then you will love kind of the story that I talked about, you know, just kind of getting back into the whole Dead Space universe and um, seeing the characters and hearing that familiar music from Dead Space 1 that gets you all excited for Dead Space 2. Oh, and um, I think the storyline's good, you know, the comic book thing was good. If you liked the uh, original comic book series they made, you know, if you went to their website and you watched all those like I did, you'll enjoy this. It's basically the same thing, except they have, like, mini games thrown in the middle, which... The mini, the mini games aren't anything to get excited about, but they do kind of make it feel more like a game, and they do kind of break up the the pace a little bit, you know, kind of get you a little more excited, build up a little bit of tension, you know, because you're timed on the on the puzzles, and you know, it's it's a pretty neat concept, and you know you can get trophies and or achievements uh, from the game, so it's like a full game. But um, aside from that, I think. The, it's only five bucks, so you know that's if if you're a Dead Space fanatic and you love the story, like I said, then pick it up. But um, if you like Dead Space, you think it's a good game, but you know you'd rather just go online and watch like videos on it, or if you just don't really care at all, then I'd, it's not much of a game. I wouldn't pick it up and fire you. Like they have some like leaderboards and uh, split screen multiplayer, but that's you know that's kind of crap to be honest. It's just crap. It's, I mean, I don't know, maybe not crap, but I mean, it's nothing to get excited about. Um, uh, so, yeah, but I think the main selling point of Dead Space Ignition would be the exclusive Dead Space 2 um, Isaac Clark, or maybe not Isaac Clark, but, you know, whatever suit that you get for the multiplayer, maybe, maybe the single player, I'm not sure. But uh, it looks pretty cool, you know, it, it almost looks like he's wearing normal clothes, he's got like a jacket on and like uh, some jeans, but he has like the Dead Space helmet and armor on all over him. It's pretty neat. Um, you get it once you beat the game, I think. I think that's how it works out. Um, but I did see, and I wish I would have looked at this earlier before I bought it, I think if you do pre-order Dead Space 2 from, say, probably GameStop, I think you will get a token to download the game for free. So, yeah. I don't know if you can pre-order right now. So I guess the only benefit of actually just paying for it would be getting it sooner, if that's the case. But, um, you know, you can just wait until you pre-order Dead Space 2, and then you just get it for free, and it comes with that suit, so I guess that's kind of like their exclusive pre-order bonus thing, my bother, they pretty much anybody can get if they pay five bucks for it. But, um, yeah, so, it's really cool. Um, I'm just excited about that huge plot point that I was talking about earlier, you know, I'm just really excited about that. So, um, if you guys want to send me a message or comment on, uh, the video and tell me your thoughts about it, um, depending on how much feedback I get, because I know I don't have a whole, you know, a huge amount of subscribers yet, but, um, you know, just tell me your thoughts, and um, I may make a video kind of uh, thinking about um, what you guys are saying, um, um, maybe uh, discuss, you know, what I think about that, or maybe you guys just discuss what you think about mine, and I'll just tell, make another video saying what you guys said, and stuff like that, but, um, yeah, um, so that's my thoughts on Dead Space Ignition. Um, decent game. It's got a good story. Good free Dead Space 2 sh uh, suit. So if you're a Dead Space fan, by all means, get it. Um, if not, then, well, you probably don't want to waste your time because it's not much of a game. But uh, anyway, so that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you um, just kind of my thoughts on the plot and the game itself. So um, I guess I'll see you guys later in uh, my next review. Catch you on the flip side.